So do um does anybody know if tripods will despawn if they're attached to a fireplace that is left out? Meh. Okay. What's that game like? You, do you have PSVR? Do you, have you played Super Hot? Dude, that game, like, you feel like fucking Neo in the Matrix. Like, you, you, you put it, you hold up your gun and it blocks the bullets, you know, and... Oh, man. I, I just, I usually, like, play my, my PSVR for, like, a day, and then it sits in this case for, you know, a good couple months and then um i just and yeah well and i also every now and then i start feeling motion sick i i, I hear it's one of those things where you just have to immediately stop playing or it gets worse uh so every time it happens i just stop playing and i think it's actually helped me get better have you seen the uh detective pikachu movie So I, I didn't grow up, like, into Pokemon or anything, but, uh, you know, I like Smash Brothers, and uh, I actually do kind of like Pikachu as a character. Like, I like the idea of a character who bonds with this animal, and that they have a bond that's unique to any other between, like, similar animals, you know. It's like, it, it would be like to the one human who's able to talk with his dog type thing, you know. Um... And for some reason, like, just seeing all the trailers and everything for that movie has made me really want to get it, so I got it today. And I realize I'm never going to watch it. Yeah, the Detective Pikachu or whatever. With, you know, and Ryan... Well, oh, well, I, I don't have time to watch it. Like, I'm... Or I could be playing Daisy. <laughs> I'm, I, like, I, I, there's, like, a part of me right now that feels like, even though I'm playing DZ, it feels like I'm working right now. Because I'm specifically, like, okay, I have to get the Electro. Well, it's not that. It's, like, the reason I'm heading where I'm heading is because it's, like, alright, I have to help my clan now. I have to, like, go and build up Electro. I have to provide some of the resources that I got. Uh, I'm, like, done with the event. So that's the, the, to me, the interesting thing about that question 
And what I found kind of funny is that, like, like the way I would answer that question, I said, well, no, I think some people essentially give the same answer. But for me, it's, like, both. Like, I'm not going to pigeonhole myself to, like, just play by myself or, like, to only play with a faction. Like, I'm HP. Like, and that's not necessarily me. That's not me being in a clan. That is me identifying with a, a belief. Like, it's, like, an ideal system type thing like not that i believe everything necessarily that they believe but it's like the things that i do believe you know it's because our ideals align so um yeah Salt backpack. Well, so, so like, so for me, for instance, like, that's why my answer is both, is because, um, because, like, when it comes to things like building a base, I'm, I'm kind of like, all right, I tell you what, I'm going to go and I'm going to go hunting for fat so that you guys that are building the base can, like, eat what I bring back and you don't have to worry about that for the next six hours and then uh, I'll go off and I'll find some I'll get some wood for you guys and bring it back and I'll find some nails and bring it back whatever but I'm not going to sit around here like focusing on actually building a base like I'm sorry but like I'll support you and your vision of building a base but it's going to get raided in like a week to hang out in so that's and you know what i think that's that's the right way to approach it and the i think for me the issue is nobody like for me nobody whenever they, they're talking about a base has been like has expressed that it's always been like i want to set up a base we need like six fucking car tents and three barrels so that we and i'm like all right so essentially you want a honey pot and and i, I i'm just not going to hang out someplace that's a hot zone you know the, that's like immediately a hot zone Right. Well, so like on the HP server in Electro, that is we did it similar to um, New Ground Z, where it's um, it's a uh, like a sort of an embassy or like a city capital, whatever in Electro, and so we have the water spigot sort of set up to have stashes but rather than it being like don't fuck with our stash it's more like hey we've got stashes of stuff and you know some of it might be stuff please don't fuck with it because it's for an event coming up but the rest of it take what you want and by the way we're looking for certain things like car batteries truck batteries metal wire uh battery chargers cable reels so if you drop those off certainly take what you want and we've got some pretty good stuff that we've brought back like if i find the ammo and i don't have a gun for it i'm putting it in our loot stash and we have we have buried loot stashes and then we have the ones that are out in the open so people go for the barrels because they're you know just sitting out and that's what they're focusing on and then like i don't necessarily care if somebody digs up my buried stash but like the stuff that i care a little bit more about i'm going to bury um, and make it at least a little bit more difficult to get. And then, um, but then, so my system and what I love is setting up dead drops, you know, like where you, uh, there's like a tree out in the middle of the forest, but there's just something about that tree that stands out from some of the other trees. You might not pick that tree, but that tree is going to be sort of the, the reference. Yeah. So as long as you can find that tree, and then you know like what direction to head to, you can find the dead drop. And then it's just important to make sure that, um, important to make sure that, uh,
right. Alright, hold on a second. I think I came across another player. Hey, hey Survivor! Hey. hey, do you need help? Uh, sorry, what? Do you need help? Uh, well, I, I, I did need help. Yeah, hold on a second. Are you good? Hey there. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, uh, What's there's up, some man? there's some alcoholic tincture in that building if you need it. I know a few people that have been uh, getting sick from cuts, so I just thought I'd call mm. that out for you in case you were interested. Uh, no, my pack's pretty much full right now. I can't carry anything else. I can't even put my pistol away. Oh, I got it. Where are you headed? Uh, I I don't really know the map too well. So well, uh, where I'm would you like around. to head? You want to come with me? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm looking for for a guy to you know hang out with. Okay. So. Uh, do you have a tourist map by any chance? No, I don't. I got a compass though. All right. Well, just to let you know, we are uh, east of Three Valleys. If you come over here to this sign. All right. All right. So the top one is Kamishovo, and it's three kilometers south. The bottom one is Solnichi, and it's one kilometer north. Uh, if you look at mm. if you look at me, so of course that's obviously north since that's the direction facing that south. So why don't you um uh, do you how well do you know the area? So you do you, like um. I was heading to Electro, and uh, if you if you're interested, mm, well, we yeah. can. Okay, come on. Yeah. I'll... So okay. I have a. I got nothing. Okay, cool. Hey, so I have a few rules. If you're gonna Please. travel with me, um, we right. do not shoot zombies out in the open. I shot the two zombies yeah. because they. I was inside and I knew that you were okay. Uh, so come over here, please. Yeah, I was kind of screwed right there, so I had to shoot. Otherwise, I don't shoot either. I don't like to waste ammo. Yeah. Well, it, I actually. <laughs> I know it's kind of stupid. I enjoy shooting zombies, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I yeah, don't want to run fun. out of ammo. It's a lot so. of fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So come on. Uh, I also yeah, like right. to travel stealthily, but we're good for right now. So. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stamina anyway. Oh, so. I I definitely don't. I need to drop some stuff off. So. It's hard to decide without. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I I hear you, man. So, uh, are you thirsty, or do you need any food? Uh, no, I got plenty of water. I'm good on food right now. I just ate, uh, I just got done cooking a chicken. Well, that, that chicken's chicken lucky right then. <laughs> Today's <Chicken>. your day. <laughs> what a lucky chick. Alright, let's, let's head into the, uh, the tree line. And I'm, I need to check my boots because, um, you know, they've been wearing out pretty, pretty fast. So, oh, they're still good. Uh, make sure your clothes are good. I got my rubber boots. Okay. My pants are a little shitty, but I'll find new ones eventually. Oh, uh, what state are they in? Are they worn, or are they cut up? 
There's something. Hold. Well, they're ruined. They're they're playing out just ruined. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll we'll worry about yeah. that. We'll worry about that in a bit. Yeah. All right. We'll find you some pants. Yeah, it's not good. Y'all find my. Well, I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out. I'm sure that that you're more than capable of, of finding some pants. So yeah, I'll find myself some pants. It's not a big deal. But uh, if you need water, I got a huge like cooking pot full of water. So <laughs> I'm good. Like, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'll I'll help you as long as you help me. Cool. Oh yeah, you definitely. I'm loyal to anybody who helps me. Straight up. <laughs> Yeah, but you never know, man. Uh, I mean, like it's always suspicious when somebody starts talking about it. But it, the 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 interesting thing about the people since the outbreak is that they tend to be less reliable, so to speak. But um, hopefully, we'll encounter some other people that can vouch for me. Uh, oh, you yeah. know. I have some I, friends. I haven't met anybody so far. You're the first one I met. So. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah. Well, I know we're not completely alone, but there's no telling if we'll see anybody other than a, a bunch of fucking infected. Uh, man, there's a canteen I've, here. I've seen. I am wondering if do you, uh, you know what? I'll take it. All right, come on. I'll probably not even hold on to it, but it's just something I feel like that that has more use to us than what I just dropped. So. Yeah, definitely. I already got a uh, ass and shit. Ah, cool. Like stove top or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I I know that we're set. Like, if if you want, we can loot Cami Shovo. Um, there's shit. a police station do there. You, do you have a tent? I do not. And we need some. I got I got a tent and I got camel netting. I, I hit a checkpoint not too far. Well, I mean it was kind of far from here. I didn't realize I was close to the shore. Well, then you, my friend, are a high value target. Let's get you to Electro. <laughs> of course, that's your tent, so you can do with it what you want. But you may be able to trade for something else. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to trade. I need to trade. I know that uh uh. I forget his name now, but he had indicated, uh, he had indicated yeah, is it that, James? well, you know, at this point with everything the way it is, I tend to forget people's names because usually after you yeah, know them for a I few heard. months, you lose them to the infected. And then, um, yeah. I heard whispers of a James. Uh, I forget his last name though. I mean, I think that's I don't who know it who's is. whispering it to me. Is it, it's just, isn't James the, yeah, yeah, I think it's James. I forget what frequency he's on, but if you get a radio, we can probably figure it out. So he was broadcasting? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was in a... Shit, I don't even know where I heard it from. Because I, I have a radio. It. There's also a deer somewhere around here, but I already have some, some you, food. So. Do you have a battery? I uh, do. Extra battery. I do. You uh -huh. should hold on to that. That's also valuable. Yeah, I got two batteries. Right now, one's in my headlamp, which I can't seem to figure out how to turn on at nighttime. So oh, it's you have to put it. To me. You have to take it off your helmet, and you you have to put it in your hands and really mess with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Is a is a camo netting valuable? You... Yeah, it's um, I believe. Now, here's the thing. I I don't really generally mess with bases and uh, things of that nature, but um, my understanding is that you can set up a tent and then um, and then place the camo net on top of it. But again, I just what? I'm I'm not. Well, I guess I got that. the whole set, huh? <laughs> Well, shoot, if we're only rolling with each other for a while, if anything, I could trade for something for you and me. Fuck it. 
Well, I'm I'm always looking for anything that helps the community. So, um, so, but you know, always you you kind of always gotta look out for yourself too. Uh, mm, yeah, I, I get that. But we'll see, man. Let's keep rolling together. I like that. Yeah. All right, so we're, I believe we've passed Cap Galova, or I could be way off. I'm not even sure. But I, I mean, I know where we're heading, but it's the names always kind of get fuzzy for me, you know. Right. Yeah, I can't, I can't, can't read well. Uh, it's uh, no, it's Crutoy Cap. That's it. We're almost there. We'll we'll hit a little water spot and then we'll be in there. I think I want to head down by the uh, trade tracks. <laughs> All right. To be totally honest, I don't really know how I got on this little you know continent or whatever this is. You know, the details are fuzzy for me too. I I have a few memories that still that I can still hold on to from before I got here, but. Now, I, at this point, I mean, you know. Shit. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I mean, shit, I was a fucking, uh, I was in the airborne. And I don't even know how to fuck, like, what happened? Yeah, I found myself <laughs> I mean, on I the did, beach. I did you know? fall asleep. Uh, I did fall asleep in a, in a Jeep. So, I mean, that probably wasn't the best. It was in the airplane. I think they were dropping it or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, uh. I still remember when I found myself uh, washed up on the beach. Uh, I, oh yeah, dude! I had a fucking all I had was a flare and a pair. Yeah. <laughs> didn't mean to rhyme, right? I didn't think yeah. I was gonna make it, but um. I low key spit. It was for me, you know. It was the kind of thing where I didn't know where I was. I was confused, I was dazed, and then oh yeah, definitely. I, I heard this this noise, you know, just off in the distance, and um, oh yeah, this this was I, before I, I walked. The first time I saw the infected, I walked on like four of them at once, and I was like, oh shit, I'm out. And then I found this. I had it ever since. Man, that is crazy because. My first incident, it was just one of them, and I, I didn't think I was going to make it. And then, you know, if it wasn't for my other friend who, who came up and saved me, I, I'm i pretty sure I would have been gone. And look at me now, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, you, got a whole, you got the whole, you know, medic look going on. You look pretty good. Yeah, I really like these boots, Fucking... by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the red boots, those are nice. Yeah. I got the rubber, like, fucking, I don't even know, like, the... The wellies? Boots that you walk in water. Yeah, 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 that's what they are. Hey, man, anything's They're better than, boots. uh, just a fucking, fucking pair Adidas. of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Although, you know, I miss my Adidas. I, I miss being able to, like, man, go to I, the I store. Was, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Adidas. Really? I'm more of a Puma guy. Puma? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're comfortable. You get the right Puma, they're comfortable. So you know, when I was, uh, one of the few memories I have is when I was younger, and I remember riding my bike down to the store. It was called Record Exchange, and um, what was it? I think it was like corn or something, and oh. Cool. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I remember a little bit of corn. Yeah. Yeah. Freak on a leash is my favorite song by them. That, that's a good one. That the album that that's on is uh probably one of their better ones for sure. Um, yeah, I'm more. I like I like you know modern rock and roll, but I was more of a classic rock and roll guy. I like I like Jimi Hendrix and Led ooh, Zeppelin. Those were Led my Zeppelin, like, you, yes. Yeah, you can't find none of those albums around here though. It's fucking Russia. Yeah. So there's probably going to be an event coming up soon where we play some music. 
out of the PA system in uh in Electro. Oh shit. Yeah. I think I could, I think I could put in like a like a fuck oh, no. forget the word uh a song request. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm a, yeah, request. There we go. I'm a little dumb. No, that's nah, that's not dumb. Uh so what were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking a little uh, all alone the watchtower. You know. Just oh, get a classic. Yeah, yeah we can play It'll some of that. Get people for moving sure. for sure. Yeah. I love, you know, I think that's one of those songs that works really well when it's Oh it's yeah, whenever you're in danger or just else, you pretty know? much anything. It's just anything. It's a song that goes with everything. I fucking love it. Shit. But anyway, back to this whole me finding this tent, right? I right. didn't have a backpack big enough to put it in, so I was literally running through the woods for the longest time with a fucking tent in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one of one of my favorite times playing this game. Um, so there's there are these military tents, and they're they're kind of like right between Cherno and Prigorodki. And uh, I think it's I know what you're talking. Kind of like a gem in the rough because nobody wants to go to this spot, but it's actually a decent spot. To, to go and try to find some things, you know. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there one time and I found a, tr a sea chest. Yeah. Ooh, like, you can put a lot of shit in there. Exactly, right? Well, I knew I couldn't carry it very far, but I had a shovel. So okay. I... So you I, buried it? Yeah, I buried it. I'll, I'll even, at some point, I hope I get to show you um. Uh, oh yeah, dude. I'll, I'm fucking like I said. If you're helping me out a lot, but taking me fucking electro, so I'll, I'll fucking roll with you. I got your back. Well, um. So the, for the story though, like, and certainly I, I'd be down to take you there, and then I can show you exactly how we got back and forth and everything. But so I, I I carried it a little bit further away just in case somebody left it there so that they wouldn't see where I had buried it. And then um, I just kind of would stash a few things every now and then and come back to it. It really helped me, you know, get started. And uh, then yeah. um, what was it? And then I met these people and it was it was the humanitarian project. And um, there were a few of them that because I was helpful to them. You know, like, I gained their trust, they gained mine, and uh, I told a few of them, I was like, you know, I have this sea chest, and uh, it's kind of not really, I use it, but I feel like it would really benefit the group. So it was like, me and four other people, we, we actually started from the island that's just a little bit further up here, and we went all the way down the coast to... Uh, Cherno, and I think we even came across a, a group of bandits who were in the uh, the gas station along the way, and they had a, a flare I out. I came across any bandits yet. Thank God for that. Right. Well, we got fortunate. They actually saw us, but then we just kept moving, and so it was it was one of those times where, if anything had gone wrong, it could have gone really wrong. But we just we kept moving, and they didn't disturb us. Oh, there's some jam. I will take that. All right. Come on. And um, so we finally made it. We're, we're, we're going along the railroad tracks at one point, just like we are now, heading west along the coast. Oh, I got him. All right, Crouch. I think he's behind the oh, wall. here. All right, let's go. Oh, would you like some glasses? Oh, no, I like mine I got on. I got some nice ones there. All right, I'll grab these in case I'm... Oh, nope, I'm done. Okay, let's go. All right, let's crouch for a little bit. I got 20, 20, bitch. All right, so, um, what was I saying? So anyways, we're, we're going along the coast. I had to drop one of my friends off at the bar. 
Uh, but we kept going, and then actually, I originally headed off with just my one friend, but then he decided he wanted to hit up the bar. So I headed back, and then picked up these four other people who I just met. And uh, yeah, let me eat some tuna. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. But keep, keep, keep talking. I like. Okay. Um, so, anyways, uh, we are we're moving along. We've gained each other's trust, and we start coming up to the factory. And we're again, we're going along the train tracks. So we're kind of behind everything, and then um, what was it? Uh, you then come up right before you get to the tents. You come up to this underpass, and so we just we got down there. We we talked about our plan. We went around the back. Oh, and I gotta get something to drink. I'm sorry. Bear with me. Um. All right. So I gotta. Still, I gotta. I got some Pepsi. Oh, I've got water. I'm good. Just bear with me. All right. Yeah, I, think... I got a whole fucking pot of rusty water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right, come on. So anyways, like I was saying, we were, we're heading to, um, we're still heading to the tents. We're at the, the underpass there. We're talking about our plan and I realize it's getting dark and I can't find the treasure chest. Well, since we're right there though, we still decided we're going to hit up the military tents, get some loot and then grab the tre the the sea chest and then uh all right let's let's come up this way a little bit so we're going to grab the sea yeah, chest and head say, back we're open. so since it's getting dark i went ahead and went to the sea chest and then they were going to follow behind well one of my friends was lagging behind a little bit and he got sniped because we en they loot. they ended up coming out the front of the military tents instead of going out the back and that was a lesson learned for everybody and unfortunately we lost that friend but um, but the rest of us made it down to the rendezvous point back at the overpass. And it was the scariest moment because I'm sitting in a bush, I'm hiding, and I'm you know talking to my friend. All of a sudden, I hear some rustling in the the bushes above us. Just like you know, just like we're walking through the bushes now. Mm. You know, you can hear the leaves yeah. going past. And so I was like, oh, shh, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. And then uh, I started looking around, not making any sound with my feet. And then we could hear the fucking murderers just running across the bridge heading north either I guess maybe into Dubrovka or or not no that's dub key or maybe they were heading to Mogliavka I'm not sure but they made it on and we mourned the loss of our friend it was it was really kind of tragic and um well that kind of circling back is why I don't really remember a lot of my friends names it's because at some point it's just too many names to remember. But yeah. so fortunately I only, though I only lost one so far. Oh, he wow. fucking I don't even I don't even know how he got like where the sniper was because he was just drinking fucking water out of a fountain and it had, he had to have a suppressor or something cuz it was just done for. Didn't even oh. hear the shot. Oh wow. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I know that that's really difficult to go through. Um so, if you look, not right here, but a little bit off in the distance, there's an island with a, a lighthouse on it. I can yeah, just make it out now. So, yeah, that's where we used to have Camp Wet Rat. And, um, unfortunately, that's not a good spot for a base, so it didn't last long. But it was still a lot of fun. And it's part of the story. So, that's that's where I started from, and that's where I met a lot of the, the friends that I know now. And, um, so anyway, we... These murderers just, you know, after they killed our friend, they, they ran past and we just waited it out. And it was, at this point, we hadn't gotten the sea chest yet. And it was it was dark, so I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to find the spot. And I had, I was proud, you know, I was telling my friends, hey, I know the sea chest and I didn't want to disappoint them. And fortunately, after checking like eight trees, we finally found the right one. And we digged up the sea chest. And of course, this is pretty much just the beginning of the story. I mean... The sea chest didn't stay near Cherno. We brought it all the way back here. Jesus Christ, that's a long fucking walk. Yeah, it took us all night, 
and we started our journey again it's just started getting dark we were barely able to make out the um barely be able to make out my burial spot and then uh so we finally get the sea chest up and it's now me and just three other people because again our friend unfortunately got taken out and um we decided all right we've got to head back but i don't think it's safe to go the same way we can't we we came and that's when my friend taught me about the uh what i call the high voltage highway okay what's that about that's where you you follow the high voltage power lines from uh electro west to cherno and it makes it it's a lot faster route it's generally a lot safer and uh, if I do show you kind of what happened, we'll be, I'll be certain to uh, show you that way. I, I, you know what? It, it needs a catchy name, something like the Cherno Run, you know? How about Electric Avenue? That's, that's a good song, and it makes a little bit of sense. Right? Yeah. So I don't... It was, it was maybe like a week or two ago we had a get-together, and uh, that was the song I... That was one of the songs that I played by uh, Eddie Grant. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, I only know like the first time I saw it, it was off that movie Pineapple Express. That's a good movie right there. Wait, what was it? Here. Pineapple Express. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's it's about we. I'm a bit of a stoner. <laughs> yeah, I know, know, man. Not I know. <laughs> no, no, I yeah, I know that movie. Yeah. That that used to be in my collection until uh, I lost everything. No, I, I just have memories. I can, I can almost say that entire movie heart, like, by heart. It's uh, you know what? We'll have to have, like, a campfire, and we'll get together, and you'll have to... Because, you know, my memory's kind of kind of shaky. Uh, we should see if we can, like, reenact scenes from that movie. That, uh, <laughs> I, you know what? I'm, I'm actually kind of a... Uh, I'm a Seth Rogen fan. Oh yeah, big time. And but, when, whenever him and James Franco came in in that movie, it was it was gold. It's a classic. And it's the, definitely the, a classic. The funny thing for me is that like I feel like I shouldn't be a James Franco fan. I used to not be a James Franco fan, but I am definitely now a James Franco fan. So he won me over in Spider Man. Well, you know, I think that was like my that was probably my introduction to him was in in Spider Man. Uh, I know. And it's weird that that no, no, was... No, 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 there was this uh, old show that he was on that I used to watch when I was a kid, uh, Freaks, Freaks and Geeks. Geeks. That's yeah. when he got it. Yeah, that's when he got his start, and it had Seth Rogen in it, too. It had a lot of good actors, actually. See, I wasn't, I wasn't really aware. I mean, I, I was aware of it, but I just, I never really watched it, but, which is kind of funny, because it, I think it just was something that I missed at the, it was something where oh, yeah. I probably would need to... Have been exposed to it at the right time, and that just didn't happen. It's a pretty comical show. I mean, I'll give you that. It's stand up to the test of time. I mean, fuck. <laughs> it was an old <laughs> show. Whenever I watched it, then you know what? I it will. It was made before I was born, to be honest. I wish I could take that as a recommendation to watch it, but you know, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen anytime yeah. soon. Not not unless we get power back. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the. Here's the hoping that somehow that's possible. Alright, so we're gonna go into sneak mode again. Uh, do you want to hit up the guard station, or do you want to skip it and go into town? Uh, we can skip it. Uh, enough fucking... Yeah, I need to get rid of some everything. stuff. Alright, so I would love to show you kind of... I'm not gonna show you this spot, because... Um, it's still kind of a hidden spot, and eventually... Yeah, I get it, you know, if, if you we trust get, me too well, if, we just met, yeah. If we get to know you, then, uh, then I can show you the spot, but there's... someplace somewhere around yeah. here... Well, my name's Caden, you can just call me Caden, it don't... You can call me David. Matter. Alright, just don't pronounce my name with a C, I'll get super shitty. Alright, it's not Caden, it's Caden. I Kaden. always get on people's asses about I, that. And I don't understand. I don't understand how anyone could make that mistake. Well, see, in my old town where I used to live, before I, I joined the Airborne and shit, got shipped out all over the world and stuff, like, there was another guy named Caden Green, and you know, that's my name. Like, that's literally my name. But, he spelled it with a C. Hold on a hey, second. I was like, what? A, a... 
Do me a favor. Can you drop your bag, please? You ain't. No, 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 no. Your you your backpack going. is you uh, it's it's uh, it, it looks damaged. I got duct tape. Oh, okay. You're good then. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I realize how fucking suspicious that seems. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. You're like, wait, are you about to hold me up? No, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm the one with the handcuffs, so... Yeah. I'll save them in case I find a little uh, lady, you know what I mean? Get a little kinky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as, as it's consensual, right? Alright, let's 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 go. Well, I think it's consensual. <laughs> oh, fuck, what was I... I think I was talking. Uh, um, anyway. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, that's why I started calling him fucking Seedin. Like, you know, like, I met him one time, like, yo, you spell your name with C? He's like, yeah, I'm like, you're not Caden, you're fucking Seedin. He's like, what? I'm like, it, you, like, it's Seedin. Like, the E is what makes the K, the K, you know? It's fucking Seedin. <laughs> <laughs> and how he spelled it green, he put an E on the end after the end, too. I'm like, motherfucker, like, just make it the color. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Man. People, man, they have no common sense where I came from. Right. So, are you familiar with Electro at all? Uh, I've been through it. Okay. Well, actually, I think this is where I, I woke up at. I really think I did like a huge circle. Ah, I see. Somehow got my ass back to the shore. So, are you aware of like Aboriginals in Australia? You know, uh, like, uh, like, like native I aboriginals. Well, so, I think so, so they were these, they were the native people in Australia, and they, they oh, oh, like the markings in the sand and stuff that you can see from airplanes and stuff like that. Maybe I think that might be South America, but That's but what it is? Real, yeah, it's South Africa, my bad. It's like, you know, Crocodile Dundee, he's the Australian and he has these Aboriginal friends and they're like the natives of Australia. So they had this thing which was kind of uh, like a walk. I get you. Right. I get and it they, they had this the Aboriginals have this thing which is kind of like a walkabout and that's where you kind of like sing a song about the places that you pass and I'm not going to sing you a song but so just to kind of tell you so we <laughs> yeah. we we passed the guard station coming in, right? And then we headed up the hill to this trail. The trail goes by the cemetery and if you were to go north down there down the hill you start heading towards the power plant. Instead, we're going to continue west where the sun is setting, and you can see the church there. So let's go, and we're going to continue past the church. And it's very important that we uh, we stay hidden and stealthy right now because there's a lot of infected around. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand. Just crouch, and you'll be okay. Alright, now this is a no KOS, no hold up zone. So, and of course, that's oh, yeah, yeah. obviously why I wasn't holding you up back there. That would have been really shitty. <laughs> yeah, it's shitty as fuck. I'd have been like, bro, I thought we were coming friends. <laughs> so, wait, you wait until we're like just about to enter Electro and then you hold me up? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, I'd be like, man, you're a really shitty person. Like, what? <laughs> Alright, if you'd like, this is a military tent right here. So let's at least just see if maybe there's a little bit of ammo. Um, there is right here. What the f I don't think this ammo is for my... My combat. Ah oh, man, I've got to get rid of something. Uh, if you need new boots, there's boots right here. Oh, let me check. Oh, my boots are still pristine, I think. 
Alright, what are these? Any room for anything and we're like just so close to where we need to be so um uh, I can hold some ammo for you I don't know what kind of ammo this is here actually here take grab this ammo because I think it's the same thing but it's in a box oh, dude there's a fucking there's a fucking MP a fucking gun right here do you want it uh I don't care I mean I already I'm, have I'm one. probably gonna trade it if I take it oh you already got one yeah, I mean, so what I would, I think you should take it, uh, because you have potential for, um, for trading, and, uh, if nothing else, if you don't hold on to the gun, if you are willing to, I could probably trade you for the mag, um, I, but I don't need the gun, so it's, you know, uh, but come on. Yeah, it's got six in the mag right now. What, I'm gonna show you where we have our base of operations. Yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. I'm just tired of being alone. I thought for a second that chick was making me crazy. When I heard your voice, I'm like, wait a second. Right? Is, is that for real? I'm I'm definitely glad I, I found somebody to help me and that I was able to help you. Alright. So this <laughs> oh, yeah, is yeah. the... This is pretty much like the main street in Electro. Like this is a, a city square, so to speak. This is the police department right up here on the left. Oh, hold on. That, he's in that building. I oh, okay, we're good. Think. What do you think I can get for a scorpion? I got one of those too. Um, I don't know. Some people really actually like the scorpions, and then other people don't want to mess with them. I like the scorpion, but with the SG5, yeah, I haven't like, really shot it. Too much. It's pristine. The only thing I've shot is my. I haven't even shot this. Right. I really wish I could grab that too. Oh my god! All right, come on. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's 380 ammo. If you have a scorpion, you might want to. At least empty the the clip. All right, we're almost there. Like we're literally like right around the corner. All right, right look at this. Nice. This is real nice. Holy shit. You go. Yeah. And the so the reason I say I don't know is because there's already a scorpion just sitting here waiting for somebody to take it. Um mm. So how does this see. work? Like Um I'm not totally sure. You might want to check the bulletin board in town to see if um You can certainly leave whatever you would like, but there's no guarantee if you leave something that it will um, be here later. You know, because, like, it's kind of open for people to take. I'm going to leave some of the batteries that I have because I don't need all of them. And I know that those are hot commodities. And um, But, you know, it, you, you also have the opportunity, too, that you can, like, also see if you can do a better exchange for whatever so um yeah there's a radio in here but we think should i trade for that uh i mean if you if you think it's a even trade go for it you know there's uh like a cooking pot mm -hmm. over here too um there's wow people have been doing it great yeah just keep oh my, that was my bad people have been like getting the stuff I've been requesting. That's awesome. Hmm. Because uh, I'll show you what, what I mean by that, too. Oh, my goodness. All right, hold on. I just put uh, what I want to trade in there and take what I don't, like, what I want out. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, just do it in exchange. No, no, I don't think you're going to piss anyone off. This is... I, it, I, I will stand up for you. Uh, okay, yes. I, I like will... I said, I'm, I'm not you... book smart. I'm, I'm survival smart and street smart. Yeah, you don't have anything to worry about. I will look out for you. I will, I will um, advocate for your behalf if something were to happen. And, uh... Because I told you it was cool, so... Alright, let's see... Uh, take that to hands, why not? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, uh, let me show you some other spots, too. Um, so we've got some generators. Let's crouch really quick. And then we're going to head up this way. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right, that's the hospital straight ahead. And hold on, i got to drink something. I'm gonna put some batteries in this radio real quick. Yeah, you're fine. Got a radio. Won't be alone anymore. Right? <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of a cool little park area. Horse. Alright. I got it. Hold on, back up. I don't want to hit you. Yeah, I was looking for my machete. You've got a helmet. That's cool. Oh, yeah, a little fighter man helmet. I had one that was a white one, but I was like, man, I like the ski mask just by itself. Right. All right, come on. My pants are damaged too. I totally haven't been looking out. Oh man, that's why we should have stopped at the police station. All right, come in. Go ahead and go in and I'll close the door. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Got it. So this, trying to fucking... Here's another barrel here. Uh, and this is where we're storing... Oh, there's pants in here. There you go. 